In this lecture, we're going to learn how to create protected routing in the React application. So what is protected routing? Protected route means only the authorized user can access the route. To understand this, we need to create a simple example. So let me create a new file inside this router folder. Right here, I'm going to create a new file and name it protected.js. Let me just create a functional component here, react functional component. Let me copy it and paste it inside this index. So now I can use this protected component in my React application. Just for that, let me copy this code from this nested route. I'm going to copy all this code right from here. Specify that inside this protected route. And I'm going to copy these components as well. Like this. And don't forget to import this link and route component. Now, as you know, I'm not using product component. So let me get rid of it. And inside this example, I'm not using category component as well. So let me get rid of this as well. Just out of that, I'm going to get rid of this constant variable as well. Inside these links, I'm going to just change a few things. So what I'm going to do is, to this first link, to this home route link, here I'm going to simply say link to home page. Then just out of that, to this link, I'm going to specify protected. And change this category. And here I'm going to say link to protected page. Just out of that, here I'm going to say unprotected like this and I'm going to copy this text paste it here and instead of protected here I'm going to say unprotected just out of that make sure you change this inside this route as well so instead of this category I'm going to simply copy this protected and specify that here and unprotected goes here just out of that I'm going to change this component as well because as you know I don't have category component so what I'm going to do is instead of this category I'm going to create a component protected and specify that here so at the top here I'm going to copy this home component paste it here and paste it here instead of this home here I'm going to create a component called protected so I'm going to just simply say here protect just out of that here I'm going to say unprotected and inside this protected I'm going to say protected page and this became unprotected page now because i already have protected that is why i just specify here protect because that will create duplicate component and you will get an error message now once i have both this component let me specify that to the route here i'm going to say protect and instead of this render statement i'm going to simply pass component is equal to unprotected like this get rid of this last route because i'm not using it now let me save this file back to my browser and reload it now, as you can see, I have here three links, link to the home page, link to the protected page and link to the unprotected page. Now, what I want, when the user click on this protected page, I need to first authenticate the user and then navigate user to this protected page. Otherwise, I want to redirect the user to the home page. I don't allow the user to access this protected page until he log in. Only the authorized user can access this protected page. Let me show you how you can do this. So I'm going to just back to my example. And here inside this protected component, inside my main component, right here, I'm going to create two functions here and a simple set. So at the top, suppose you have login system. You have login and logout button. When the user login, you allow user to access this protected route. And when the user logout, you rejected this protected route and you redirect the user to the home route. So what I'm going to do is here at the top, I'm going to create a state. So I'm going to say here constant in the single code. I'm going to say is authenticated and specify here set is authenticated. That's upon you. You can specify any name to, to this variable. Just out of that, I'm going to specify equal to sign and use state hook. And then specify default value false. As you know, I don't need to import this because when you add it, it will automatically import in Visual Studio Code. Just out of this state, just down here, I'm going to create two functions. So I'm going to say here function login and function logout. Just out of that, inside this function, I'm going to say set is authenticated is equal to, I'm going to specify here true. So I'm going to just change this state property to true inside this login function. And then I'm going to copy this paste it here inside this logout 
at this time i'm going to change it to false so when you execute your login function i'm going to change this state to true and when you execute the logout function i'm going to change the state to false now let me just print the state variable here i'm going to say console.log and in the double quote i'm going to say logged user and i'm going to just simply press is authenticated let me copy this console paste it here like this just out of that i want to call these functions so let me create a button for that so just down here just out of this ul tag i'm going to create two buttons button one for the login just add here a break statement and then i'm going to add here second button this is the logout button and make sure you pass here on click event so when you click on the button you can execute the login and a logout function so i'm going to say here on click is equal to logout save this file when the user click on the login button it will execute this login function and authenticate the user now at the end you need to create a route that will help you to protect your routes so what i'm going to do is at the bottom here i'm going to create a function called guarded route so i'm going to simply see here constant guarded route that's upon you you can specify any name to this component is equal to i'm going to pass here a function like this and inside it i'm going to pass my route so i'm going to simply call here route component inside this route i'm going to say vendor is equal to and in the curly braces i'm going to pass a callback function like this and to this function here i'm going to pass a property variable so i'm going to say here props just out of that inside this render here i'm going to say auth if it is equal to true then i'm going to print a component otherwise i'm going to redirect the user so i'm going to say here redirect now as you know i don't have both these components inside this function so let me just add it so let me first add this redirect component now this component is coming from this react router dom module so you don't need to create this component to add inside this function so you just need to import this component so just copy it and import that here like this just for that once you have this component you need to pass here two property two is equal to and in the double quote i'm going to simply specify forward slash so when the auth is not equal to true i'm going to just redirect the user to this root route just for that when i call this component i'm going to pass properties to it so here i can simply specify curly braces spread operator and props property like this so i can pass a different property to this component using parent component as you know i don't have this component inside this function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass that component inside this parenthesis so inside this parenthesis i'm going to pass an object like this and say here component and here i'm going to say component just like this just for that as you know i don't have this auth as well inside this function so let me just pass that as well inside this parameter auth and then at the end i'm going to pass a rest of the parameter so i'm going to just say here spread operator and say here rest so using this parameter i can pass a different properties to this route so to this route in the curly braces i'm going to say triple dot rest so i can pass different properties to this route using this parameter just for that let me just use this component so just copy this component and use it at the top right here and to this component as you know i have different properties let me pass some values to it so to this grounded route here i'm going to first specify property path is equal to and then i'm going to specify here forward slash protected as you know i want to protect this route so i'm going to specify path protected just out of that i'm going to specify component so here i'm going to say component is equal to and in the curly braces i'm going to pass this protected component so i'm going to copy this protect and pass that here at the last i have auth property this one so i'm going to specify value to it inside this curly braces i'm going to simply say is authenticated i'm going to use this state variable 
and I'm going to pass that to this authenticated property. Now you can notice you don't need to follow the parameters when you use object inside your functional component. You can notice here I just first specify value to this rest using this part property then specify value to this component using this second property and specify value to this auth using this third property. This statement will automatically specify all the values to these parameters. So this path is going to specify value to this rest. This component is going to specify value to this component and this auth is going to specify value to this auth condition. So if this auth is equal to true, I'm going to display this component. Otherwise, redirect the user to the root route. Let me save this file and try to execute it. Let me reload it. Now, as you can see, I have here three links. Home link, protected link, and unprotected link. Let me click on it. Let me click on my home link. This will open the home view. When I click on the unprotected link, this will open the unprotected page. And when you click on the protected link, it will open the home page. Because as you know, I just protected this page from unauthorized user. When you click on this route, you will redirect to the home page. So if you want to access this route, you need to first log in. So let me just click on this login button. You can notice I'm going to have here a message login user box. So now when I click on this protected page, as you can see, this will open the protected page very easily. And now I can access all my routes. You can notice. But if I click on the logout button and try to access this protected page, you can notice this will redirect me to the home page again because now I'm not the authorized user. So this is how you can protect your routes from authorized and unauthorized user. So I hope you understand how to work with protected routes in the React application. Practice with this code to understand this example clearly because this is a very important topic. So make sure you practice with this code to understand this example.